In this video, we're going to install an oil seal easily without any special tools. All you need is your oil seal and something hard like a socket extension or another tool handle, a piece of dowel, even a butter knife handle might work, and a fridge. My Subaru EJ253 engine has volunteered itself for today's demonstration, but the principles should work on pretty much any application that requires a rubber seal. So first things first, take your, um, your camshaft seal and find your freezer and chuck it in the freezer. The reason we do this is because it's going to shrink the seal and it's going to make it much more easy to insert the seal uh, without any tools. So leave that in there for maybe a day or a, a good, good half a day depending on how good your freezer is and then come back and grab it. Next we get our lubricant and I'm just using uh, engine lube here so use rubber grease as well anything that's anything that's going to lube it up you only just want to stop the uh, seal going on dry and put it on the snout of the camshaft so try not to get any on the inside you don't want to get any on the inside of here because uh, that's where your um, your seal is going to go, and that needs to be uh, that needs to be dry. Get the lubricant on that nicely, and then we'll do the same thing with the seal. Now we're going to lube the inside of the seal where the camshaft is in contact with it. And very, very carefully, we're going to insert it with two hands so it goes on straight. Now normally you would use a proper tool for this, but we're going to pretend that we live on a planet where proper tools don't exist. So we use our thumbs. And that's starting to expand now, so we'll just use a um, uh, like a socket extension or something like that, or a screwdriver just to press it in firm. You want it to be flush with the outer edge of the cam cap, there. Usually when I do seals on engines, I buy a few of them because half the time I end up destroying them because I put them in crooked or too far and then I can't get them out again without wrecking them. So if you're like me, you'll love this way because it makes it so much easier. The seal won't shrink very much though, so you do need to work quick because the seal will return to its normal size rather fast. And then you'll have to repeat the cooling procedure. And there we have it. That seal is installed. Hope this helps somebody out. Have a great day.